guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you some projects that I've had going on around the house. Um, and my husband had a big project that I'm really proud of him that I want to include in this video as well. And so these are some things that I've had going on um, around the house and I just compiled them into this one video just to share with you what I've had going on. So this first one that I want to show you is this vintage armoire that I got. I have a really um, dear friend that owns his own moving company. And so whenever he's moving for someone, he always remembers me. I love um, vintage furniture. I love you guys know I love doing DIYs and, and doing things like that and refinishing furniture. And when he and his wife gave me this one, they both of them said that they knew I was going to turn it around and do something with it to make it my own. And um, you guys, it took a while. I got this piece um, right before I initially hurt my hand. And so working on it was a chore. Um, and it was before I had gone to the doctor to find out what was wrong. It was just hurting. But I was still determined that I was going to do this piece. But it took me several months to do this piece because it was finished with a, a piece of a veneer that was on top of it. And I wanted to restore it back to its original wood tone and t just take it down to the original wood that was underneath it. And so anyway, this project took a lot, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I want to share this one with you first, and then I'll come back when I'm ready to move on to the next one. So anyway, you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, this is what the piece looked like when I first got it and uh, absolutely loved the look of it. I love the ornateness of the scalloped edge here at the bottom of it. And I loved everything about it except for this piece of veneer that they had covered it with and it had some scratches in it, it had some torn places in it and I just wanted to take it down to the original. I found one that looked exactly like this piece that's mine on Etsy. Mine is exactly like this one, even on the inside, except I have a mirror on the inside of mine. And you guys can see this one was selling for $750. So I started by just trying to remove this veneer that was on it. Like I said, some of it was already coming up um, in places and there was no way that I could sand this down. I actually had to chisel away at it the way you see me doing here. You guys, look at that beautiful wood tone color that's underneath this veneer. I absolutely love, love, love it. Now you guys, this process took quite some time. I had to work on it for several days and you'll see here in the next clip that it's a totally, completely different day. Um, but I've gotten it to the point where I'm ready to start trying to sand it in some places and just the, that top portion that I'm sanding there with that beautiful wood tone color that's coming through, absolutely beautiful. And the process just continues. It seemed like it was never ending and I really had a lot of work to do, but I just took my time and I worked on this whenever I had time to do it. And I knew that the end product was really going to be very pleasing. And you guys, this is how it turned out. It's absolutely beautiful to me. Look at these beautiful wood tone colors and you can see the accent of the wood. It just really exceeded my expectations. I absolutely love this so much better than that veneer. So you guys, the next project that I worked on was this um, table of mine. I absolutely love the size of the table. My family, we believe in family dinners and when everyone's here, we literally sit around this table and take up every bit of the space that that we have. And I, like I said, I love the table and 
originally the top of it was a darker, deeper wood color and I went in and tried to strip that stain off of it and I tried to sand it down and it was just a mess. The table was a mess and I lived with it and I'm ashamed to say, but I lived with it that way for quite some time. Also, the 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 um, legs and the base of the table were this, I don't even know what the color of it was, but you'll see it in the clip, the color of it. And it didn't really match the china cabinet or my chairs um, that were with it. The color was just off a little bit. And so I decided that I was going to do a paint treatment on the top of this table. And then I also painted the legs and the base. And when I tell you, you guys will see in the clip that it turned out so beautiful. I'm in love with this table. So you guys, let's get to the table and let you have a look at that. So you guys, here's the table and you can obviously see the problem. I mean, the sanding did not go well with this. And so I am going to use this Waverly paint and hazelnut, and then I'm going to use a white glaze and I'm going to transform this table. So here you see where I've painted the table with the hazelnut paint and now I am applying the glaze and with this the glaze is watery um, when I say watery I mean it's just a little thinner than the paint and I just brush it on after I've painted you go over your paint and you just brush it on everywhere as you can see me doing here and I'm working in small areas because this wax tends to dry fairly quickly and so if you did the whole thing and then went back and tried to rub it off you would have some areas where you're not able to get the wax off the way and buff it off the way that you would want to because it started to dry so I'm working in small areas and I'm just brushing it on and then I'm gonna go and I'm going to wipe it off So here you see me going in and I'm just wiping it all the way down um, after I have applied it. And I'm going to do that until I get the look and the finish that I'm going for. Now coming up, I'm showing you what the table looks like before I painted it. And here is the finished look. The shadowing is the chandelier from on the top, but you guys look at this tabletop. Look how this turned out. In the next clip, you're gonna be able to see without the shadowing, how the tabletop looks so much more cohesive and beautiful. And the legs look so creamy and it, it just turned out so beautiful. You guys, look at this table. What a big difference. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Okay, guys, this next project that I did was a coffee table and end tables that I wanted for my living room. In the living room, I had this really large coffee table. You guys saw it in some of my previous videos, and I really love that coffee table. I didn't get rid of it. It's like a stone coffee table and end tables, and I'm ending up using them on my patio by the pool um, but I wanted something that didn't take up as much space and I wanted to go from having a square or rectangular coffee table to having a round coffee table I really like that look and that's what I wanted so I ended up finding the coffee table that you're gonna see here I found it on um, offer up and I paid $40 for this table the lady was asking 
a, for a little bit more, but I haggled her down and she went for it. Um, so I really got this table for $40, but I tell you when I finish it, it's not going to look like a $40 table. At least I, I hope you don't think so. I don't think so. And then with having the round coffee table, I knew that I needed end tables that were going to match. The end tables that I had were also big and bulky and they took up a lot of walk space from, you know, in between the family room and the piano and going to the, to the, to the um, breakfast table. And, and I just needed a whole different look. And plus I like it when things look, you know, kind of cohesive. And so I wanted some round end tables. I didn't find any that I liked. And so, you know, I decided, well, I'll just make my own. So you're going to see in the clips that um, I actually found two bases at Hobby Lobby. They are the only two in the store when I was there. I wasn't even there for that. I was there picking up something else for another project. And I saw the two bases. And then I thought, <laughs> you know, let me go and see if I can. All I need is two good round solid wood pieces to go on top and then I can have my husband just you know put the two pieces together and then I'll paint it and we'll be good to go because the bases were already painted and so that's exactly what I did I got the bases and the round parts that I the round wood that I used on the top at Hobby Lobby and so let's take a look at this project okay guys this is what the table looked like when I first got it it's nice but it didn't fit my decor now guys, this is what the table looked like after I painted it. I didn't film myself painting it, but I just used a Walmart brand paint with paint and primer already in it. And look at how this turned out. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, we're almost done. Only two more projects left to go. This next project are the end tables that actually go with this coffee table and in the clips you're going to see my husband just attaching those two round wooden pieces to the bases that i found and then after he does that i just go in and paint them and they're absolutely beautiful and i also wanted to tell you that the two lamps that you will see that are on these end tables i actually ended up getting those from my antique mall they were already painted and I just bought fresh new linen lampshades to go on them and it all comes together nicely. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is my husband marking where he needs for the base to actually sit so that he can go in and measure and start drilling and attaching the two pieces together. And you guys, it was just that simple. Um, he did that for both tables. I painted them and this is how they turned out. Now guys, this is the last project that I worked on on my own and it is my bed here behind me um you guys this bed was it was well past time for a makeover um i really loved my bed but i just was at a place where i wasn't happy with the color of it anymore um and i just kept visioning visioning <laughs> a white bed and I didn't necessarily want to buy a new bed because I like my bed. I like how it's made and everything. This bed is just a bed that my husband and I got. We've had it for years, you know, early on in our marriage and but it's a California King. Um, I love the height of it. I like the chunkiness of it. I like everything. I loved everything about it, but I just was tired of the finish of the, you know, the wood that was on the bed. And so I decided to paint it white and I'm so glad I did. Um, not only did I paint the bed white, but I also painted my dressers and um, they have like a faux um, marble look on the top and I decided to leave those the way they were just to give some contrasting color and match some of the other furniture pieces that I have here in the room. But I'm really glad that I made this over the room. It brightened up the room. The room looks so fresh now. And so let's take a look at this project. And then after this project, the next and last project will be 
um, completely and solely a project that my husband worked on himself, but I'm so proud of him. I have to show it off to you. So anyway, let's take a look at me transforming my bed. So guys, this is the bed after one coat of paint. Again, I just used um, a Walmart brand paint with paint and primer. And this is a closer look at what the bed looked like once I had it all painted and after about four coats of paint. I also went over it with a clear wax um, just to seal the paint and keep it from getting any nicks or scuffs. And you guys will remember this picture from my spring haul. This was the inspiration of colors for my room. Now guys, this is one of the dressers and this is what the wood looked like before I painted it. And here's a look at what the dresser looks like now. I, I absolutely, I just, I love how this turned out. And guys, this last project that I want to show you, I can't take any credit for. All the credit goes to my husband and it is our new vinyl fence. We ordered the supplies and the materials and then my husband did the installation all by himself. And I just couldn't be happier. It's absolutely beautiful. We used to back up to a retention pond and now I don't have to look at that anymore. And I can just enjoy, you know, being out by the pool and enjoying looking out. I, I bought some new wooden um, bird houses that I plan to put out. My potted garden I want to put out some flowers and I'm just really excited so I want to tell my husband thank you for your hard work it's really appreciated that's it guys for this video i hope it it inspires you to just take care of some home projects of your own i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed i would love it if you would subscribe you guys don't forget to comment down in the comment section i really do love reading your comments and commenting back and forth with you um you guys encourage me when you comment and so Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Share this video, you guys. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. I usually upload on Friday nights, so the video is up for you on Saturday mornings. And um, I'm just so glad you guys stopped in to see me. I hope everybody had a nice Easter. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And you guys be blessed. Remember, it's all the little things in life that give us the sweetest prettiest little pleasures. You guys be blessed and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.